What is going on, dreamers? We are continuing with the corpse reaction. Today is going to be agoraphobic. And agoraphobia, if you don't know, is a fear of being in particular situations where escape might be difficult or like crowded areas where it's hard to get away. And um, so I'm, I'm guessing that's going to be the theme of the song. If you enjoy my reactions, if you are liking the content so far, please leave a like on the video. If you are new to the channel or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And Comment your suggestions down below so that I know what you are interested in seeing next. Let's jump right into it. This just, this just seems like um like it's like a little anime, like you feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Like those um those like live stream videos that are on YouTube that is just like chill music playing for like studying and stuff. It seems like it would be on one of those playlists, man. But I, I got a little bit sidetracked there. Let me run it back from the jump. My bad. He's just cooling right now, just chilling, just lean back. <laughs> Are there, are there any vocals to this song, or am I bugging? Like, I, um, it might be just an instrumental. I doubt Corp sort of drops an instrumental that got forty, excuse me, forty-four million views. Um, yeah, I can't. Sorry, I, I'm all the way down here. Forty-four million views. I don't know about that. Is there vocal? I'm not going to jump ahead. Let's find out. Let's find out. This is this I guess this is a part of the wonder of corpse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey. There we go. Cause I can't do shit right, I can't learn my lesson. I can't do shit right to get any depressants. Illness and welfare rub my adolescence. My friends probably Hold on. You know you know what? He sounds a little bit younger in this. I don't even know how to describe it. Like there's more of like a a realness in his voice. I feel like his voice got deeper over time. Maybe Maybe he enhances it a little bit when he's doing like his videos and his songs and stuff nowadays. Um, Cause this one is from about actually two years ago, and I don't know. I can't do shit right. I can't learn my lesson. I can't do shit right to get any depressants. Illness and welfare rob my adolescence. My friends probably hate me. Can't answer a message. Ooh, see, this is all. This is all playing into that theme of the song, man. Agoraphobia. You feel like you don't want to be around nobody. You don't want to be in no situations where you feel like you can't leave when you want to leave man but i really like the bars though i can't do shit right i take in and no take antidepressants i can't do shit right i can't learn my lesson i can't do shit right take antidepressants illness and welfare rob my adolescence my bars. friends probably hate me can't answer a message filled with anxiety always be hiding me feeling inadequate always was driving me not a role model that's not what i strive to be can't go outside i'm afraid they'd be finding me Sheesh, man. I feel like his music appeals a lot to like the the pre twenties like teenagers. You feel me? The ones that feel like you know there's nobody that understands them, and then they feel they feel lost and separated from the world. I feel like his music appeals a lot to that that demographic. But also, it's hard. I can't blame him. I can't blame him for listening to this. But this is real nice, and it's really catchy as well, which makes it even easier to listen to and to enjoy. Quits always was driving me Not a role model, that's not what I strive to be Can't go outside, I'm afraid they'd be finding me They're annoyed by my privacy, yeah And they always asking questions about my face Can't relate, fucking caught my own reflection Broke me the other day Got a lot of bad shit that I'm taking to my grave Got a fucking date with death on house arrest till trial day So I Ooh, okay, he's starting to go off a little bit But that line made me kind of curious Has he had a face reveal? I know that um, Dream Dream had a face reveal and it was like a huge thing on YouTube because everybody was like it was like one of the dumbest movies that he could make because the the content creators that have like never done a face reveal or that like wear masks or they like block themselves with like a specific character they um, they tend to do a lot better whenever their audiences catch on just because audiences are sort of like waiting and in that mystery build um, I wonder if Corpse has ever been you know, on camera without his mask on or if he's one of those guys that's just kept it low key. 
I really haven't looked into anything like that, but that would be cool to look up though. Might do it on my personal time. Just to in see. the other day, got a lot of bad shit that I'm taking to my grave. Got a fucking day with death on house arrest till trial days. So I grab the red wine on rainy days and then I pull it. Cause I'll age another fucking thousand days before I know it. Yeah, I spend them all inside, waste my time while I'm scrolling. But I love when it rains, cause I'm agoraphobic. Oh, there we go. He loves when it rains cause he's agoraphobic. So then he gets to he gets to be outside, get to be in spaces because nobody else gonna be out there. That's bars, man. That's bars. I love that. Thousand days before I know it, yeah, I spend them all inside, waste my time while I'm scrolling, but I love when it rains because I'm agoraphobic. I mean, this is a clear sign. My man is telling everybody that he's not feeling okay. Uh, obviously, this was two years ago and everything. Nothing happened to him. So, good thing on that. And I'm sure that this is just for the music. But oftentimes, artists will make music and make lyrics that clearly convey how they're feeling. I mean, maybe this guy is just a really anxious guy. Maybe he does actually have agoraphobia and he enjoys the rain and just likes to be alone. But also, he's a content creator. So, that seems to be against all of that. But regardless, we're going to have to leave a like on the song. It's only a few seconds left. Let's ride it out, and then I'll let you guys know my final opinions. And let's, let's do this. Let's, let's let's piece it all together. Also, has Savage Gas said anything? This shit is fucking difficult. What's difficult? Oh, but yeah, that was um that was Agoraphobic by Corpse. I really enjoyed the song. It was very very chill. Um, I just came off of reacting to, I believe I've reacted to Misa Misa already, and then I also checked out his collab with Scarlord and Cordell, and there was one more that I did more recently, but I seem to be forgetting the name, but regardless, this one was a lot more low-key, um, low-beat, and just relaxed, but I do believe that it had more emotion to it, which which is kind of refreshing. But at the same time, I feel like Corpse might need some help. <laughs> he might, he might need to, um, look at it. Look, I just read the, the description of the song. Corpse stick, stick to a genre. No. So he just showing you that he can do it all, man. It's very, very cool that he can bounce around from different genres. I really, really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed the song. So thank you, Corpse, for producing it or at least doing the lyrics if anyone else produced it for you. And if you enjoy Corpse, if you are enjoying the Corpse reaction, of course, leave a like on the video, comment your suggestions so that you can see more, subscribe to the channel for more content, and until next time, until the next video, Dreamers, out.